report on lockdown following a deadly mass shooting. We have been following this. Now it happened shortly before one this afternoon. Witnesses tweeting they heard gunshots in Terminal 2 near the Delta Airlines baggage claim. So here's what we know so far. At least five people were shot and killed, eight others wounded. Authorities do have a suspect in custody, and they say he may have flown to Fort Lauderdale with a legally checked gun. We do have Team 7 covers for you, including how security is being stepped up right now here at Metro Airport. And we begin with 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini. She's live in the newsroom with the latest on this investigation. Brianne. Well, Glenda, the key piece of information right now, that suspect is in custody tonight. He is being identified as Esteban Santiago, but we don't know what motivated this deadly act. When the shots rang out at the baggage claim, scared passengers ran out onto the tarmac and into other terminals. According to investigators, Santiago was flying on a flight from Anchorage through Minneapolis into Fort Lauderdale. He had a handgun in a checked bag, and then he went into the bathroom after landing to load it. Investigators say Santiago went up and down the carousel of the baggage claim area in Terminal 2 and just started firing shots. People had been hiding behind luggage. Again, five people are dead, eight others are hurt, and we don't know their conditions right now. At this point, it appears Santiago acted alone, and investigators are working to determine why this happened and if terrorism is involved. Very beginning of the investigative stages. That's what this is all about. That's why uh, uh, at this point the lead on the investigation is with the Broward Sheriff's Office. If we do uncover it sometime that this was related to any type of terrorist or, or terrorist activities, then the FBI will have complete incident command of this. Investigators say when the gunman Santiago stopped shooting, he threw down his gun, got on the ground, and just waited to be arrested. The Fort Lauderdale Airport is currently shut down during this investigation. And we've continued to look at live pictures of people still out on the tarmac. This is here right now. We will continue to monitor this. We'll send it back to you right now, Glenda. Yeah, Brianna, chaotic and frightening scene stretching all the way here to Detroit, where a family heading home from a cruise to Mexico is trapped at the airport right now, and a mother forced to listen to chaos through the phone as one of her daughters hid behind barriers. Let's go live to 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville. Aaron. Absolutely incredible story. I've been on the phone with this family from Detroit for the last 45 minutes or so. Thankfully, everybody is okay. We're talking about a mother and her two daughters who are making their way back to Detroit. Right now, you're looking at a photo of Ava Davis, the mother, one of her daughters, Maida. The other daughter, Monique, is at a hangar. The whole family hasn't connected yet. You're looking at some video that they sent me. It's of some sort of arrest. They caught this on their cell phone. It shows the height security. They don't know who's being arrested, but they snapped that video and wanted to get it to me as soon as possible. Here's what we know so far. They are stranded at the airport. They're at the Southwest Terminal. They were going to the airport to meet the other daughter, and uh, the daughter talked to them on the phone saying she can hear gunshots. It's chaotic. Stuff is going crazy here. She was basically screaming for help, and the mother was forced to listen to her on the phone with nothing to do, no way to help her out. Here's some of the uh, sound when we talked to her just about 20 minutes ago. She was crying and screaming. She said, Mama, they're, they're shooting at the airport. She said, and I'm, I'm hiding behind this um, barrier. So you can hear people screaming. I can hear the gunshots. You know, so you know, I was frantic. My baby was here. What was going through your mind when you, when you heard that on the other end? My heart was beating so hard. So you can just imagine, the one daughter was at the airport earlier for a flight leaving to come back to Detroit around 2 o'clock. The other daughter and the mother were on a flight around 6 o'clock to come back to Detroit, and this breaks out. They're left to listen to this on the phone. Right now they say it's security is really heightened out there. You see officers riding around with guns. Nobody's moving anywhere. They have people kind of just stopped and, and staying in certain areas until they figure out what the next step is. They don't know what they're going to do. They're trying to get a flight back here tonight, but that most likely is not going to happen. They're going to be forced to go to a hotel and spend the night there in Fort Lauderdale. Of course, we're going to follow their story throughout the night. Well, let's send it back to you guys right now in the studio. All right, Aaron, hard to imagine what that mother and that child went through. Thank you so much for the live report. Now, some passengers flying from Fort Lauderdale to Detroit made it out just in time. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson was there as they landed and got news of the tragedy.
they narrowly escaped. He's live at Detroit Metro Airport right now with that part of our coverage tonight. Jonathan. Carolyn, good afternoon. Those passengers' phones began ringing and buzzing as soon as that plane landed, and you can imagine what was going through their minds. Loved ones wanting to make sure they were okay. Let me step out of the way to show you the scene here at Metro Airport is calm, but for those passengers, you can imagine it was a whole other story. Security has been heightened here. Homeland Security officers downstairs with bulletproof vests, something you don't always see here. Again, Action News was there as the last Delta flight to take off from Fort Lauderdale to Detroit arrived. It's passengers learning they escaped the chaos by just about an hour and we honestly feel very lucky like just sitting on the plane receiving those texts like feeling honestly really blessed that we were able to get out of there like it's such a terrible thing to have I guess understand five people lost their lives and many more injured so it's incredible I feel very like very blessed to have made it here and countless other passengers we spoke to just like him. You'll hear from more of them coming up tonight at 6. There are three other flights that are scheduled from Fort Lauderdale to Detroit. They are all delayed. No word on whether they will actually make it here tonight. Check back with us here at the airport at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Metro. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Counting their blessings for sure. Thank you so much.